In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Kaltura Capture Tool available at KPU to record a presentation. The first step is to log in to the media portal at media.kpu.ca. Find the login on the top right corner. And then choose Add New. Select Kaltura Capture. If this is the first time that you've used Kaltura Capture, you'll be prompted to download and install the software. So I'm working on a Mac. You also have a choice to download for Windows. Click the link and download the software. Now that I've installed the software, when I click on Add New and Kaltura Capture, my software will launch and I'll allow it to open. Make sure that you allow Kaltura to access uh, your microphone, your video, and the computer screen because uh, you'll need all those elements when you make your recording. Now that I have the software installed, I'm going to launch it and record my video. I'm going to go back to media.kpu.ca and choose Add New and Kaltura Capture. I'll choose to open the software and create a new recording. So in this video, I'm choosing to do a screen recording with audio. So I'm going to have my camera off, but I'll have the screen shared as well as the audio being recorded with my microphone. This will capture my PowerPoint as well as my narration of the PowerPoint. I can choose when I record my screen to record the full screen or only a select area of the screen. So here I'm going to choose a selection. And confirm. Now I'm going to get my PowerPoint presentation ready. And I'm going to launch the video recording. So I'm going to arrange things so I have my PowerPoint presentation on full screen and the video recording tools in front. I'll move through slide by slide. If I need to pause, I can choose pause. I can also choose to resume here. When the presentation is finished, I'll stop the recording. And I have a notification that the recording was completed and saved. I can add my title and description here and save the recording. And if I'm satisfied with the recording, I can upload it to Kaltura here. This will place it on media.kpu.ca and from there I can submit the assignment. So now I'm back on media.kpu.ca and the video that I just created is now in my media. Here I'll have the option to edit. So I can edit the title and description here. I also have the option to uh, disable or close comments. I can choose a thumbnail or a front image for my video here. From the actions menu in Kaltura, I'm also able to edit the video. To do this, click on launch editor. So there might be a little bit of content right before I started and ended the presentation that I want to trim from my video. So I can use this tool here to trim that out. When my edits are completed, I'll click Save. Now I can see that my completed and edited video is in my media. From here, I'm able to submit that as a media assignment in Moodle. To learn how to submit a media assignment, view the video linked below.